their College Board account. Students need to do this uh, in order to load their PSAT or SAT scores uh, into Khan Academy. Uh, they use their um, College Board account for um, setting up and printing out admission tickets, uh, enrolling in the SAT or the ACT test, um, a lot of different things that they're going to need. Um, they will need a College Board account for. So in order to do that, uh, you just need to go to collegeboard.org, and the address is listed up here on the top, collegeboard.org. Simple Google search for College Board will get you to the same place. And upon the first time uh, that a student gets to this website, there is a login screen where you can enter in your username and password. Now, the first time that they get here, they don't have a username and password yet, and so what they need to do is sign up. So in order to do that, there is a sign up option that's right below the login information. So I'm going to do that, and I am going to set up uh, a student account with a, uh, a dummy email account that I have created. So um, this is going to be a student, and so they're going to click on student. And once you get here, you have all sorts of information that you need to complete. And so you need to make sure uh, that this information is accurate. So my um, fake person here, his name is Tony Smith. Uh, male. <clears throat> Birth date is super important. I know a lot of times um, even students and, and parents, if they're setting up some sort of an account, they will just make something up. Um, but for the birth date, uh, it does need to be accurate uh, in order to make sure that once they're in Khan Academy, uh, that all that data uh, matches up correctly. So I'm just going to use um, today's date, but go with the year. Uh, I've got sophomores, and their birth year um, is about 2002. So um, email address should be hopefully the uh, school email address that your uh, that the student has and so the the school email address for students is uh, part of their last name and first name and then uh, a couple of numbers probably at stu.sjredwings.org uh, for me again my um, fake email account Uh, high school graduation uh, is the year uh, and date uh, that they will graduate. And again, I've got sophomores, so that's 2021. Um, zip code. And then school. And you do have to uh, write out St. John's. I know that's not the, the proper um, notation for uh, our town, but uh, you do have to write it out in order for it to work. Uh, and then username and password. And um, you can set it up how you want. Um, maybe the same uh, username as their, um, their Gmail account, but it does need, uh, as you can see here, between 6 and 15 characters made up of numbers and letters. And so I've set that up. And then the password, this is where a lot of students will um, struggle. Um, if you click on the password window, it does give you the requirements uh, up here. It says it's between 9 and 30 characters. Uh, and here's the key. There are special requirements. Uh, you need uh, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, a number, and then a special character. So maybe an at symbol or an exclamation point or a number symbol or something like that. And students are going to set this up. <coughs> and so I'm going to try that. Now, before I move on, it's really important if you are a teacher and you need to help your students set up their accounts and link their accounts and do all that kind of stuff, uh, it's really important for you to have this login information for your students. Uh, I would strongly recommend that you just make like a Google spreadsheet or a Google document or, or even on a piece of paper or something, but I'd strongly recommend that you keep a list of student usernames and passwords for the College Board. 
because as you would expect, students will be forgetting their login information and then they need to go through a forgot username or a forgot password protocol and it's pretty difficult. So if you have that information for them, you can always access it and get them to um, this uh, website and get them logged in. College Board isn't uh, something that students will log into regularly. So as you can imagine, again, um, they are going to forget uh, the stuff. So it's super important for you to um, for you to take this information. So uh, name of first pet, we'll just say it's Spot. And I'm writing that down just in case. Um, <clears throat> monthly student newsletter and alerts. Most people probably are not going to want to do that. Um, if you are um, setting this up and you want to enter in parent information, then they can also be part of um, what's going on with the student. Uh, agreed terms and conditions, you got to do that, and then you're going to click next. Uh, and then, <clears throat> as it s states here, you need to make sure that you confirm this information um, because it can affect, once the College Board is set up, uh, if they're going to enroll in the PSAT or SAT or ACT or anything like that. Um, this is the information that is going to be used. Um, so you need to make sure that that is actually valid and correct, especially once again that birth date. And then you get to the screen that says it's been created. And then these are some different options that you can um, kind of access and then it redirects you. Um, <clears throat> so uh, once you do that, you are all set. Um, you can then access, once the student uh, takes uh, any of these tests, they can look up their scores. Uh, if there's anything that they need to change or fix, um, they can go to update account. But at this point, um, that's, that's exactly what, need, what they need to do. So 